Hey Crafty Fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my craft room. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own card using the Cricut Joy. So let's get started. So before we jump into this Cricut Joy project, the first thing I wanna do is show you some ways to search for Cricut Joy projects in Design Space in case you haven't been around the last couple of months or done much exploring um, in Design Space because some of the new updates have made this super fun and super easy. But before we start searching, the first thing you need to do is go up to your drop down menu and make sure that Cricut Joy is selected. So if you're using multiple machines, um, you'll wanna make sure especially that you have Joy selected so that all the projects you pull up are compatible with your Cricut Joy. So the first place I wanna show you how to search is this bar right here on the home screen of Cricut Design Space. Now it is important to note that you only have the home screen on Cricut Design Space when you are on the desktop or the laptop version of the app. If you're on the tablet or mobile version, you're not gonna have the home screen. You'll go straight to the um, project screen. So make sure that you're on the desktop screen in order to, or excuse me, the desktop version in order to find this feature. But this is the universal keyword search bar and the universal keyword search bar is really really neat because you can type in one phrase and it's going to search all images projects and profiles all at the same time so let's type in birthday card for example and um, i'll show you what it looks like so we'll type in birthday card and then click search and as you can see after we give it a second to load there are over 8,000 results for birthday card and they're broken out by section, which is something else I really appreciate. So if you're looking first at the images category, you can see there are over 6,000 images tagged with birthday card. And it's going to show you all kinds of different assets that you can use if you want to create your own birthday cards. And if you want to see more than just what you scrolled across, you can click the green view all across from the section, and that will take you to view all of those images. Next, you'll get to my projects. So what this will pull out of my projects is anything that is tagged with the word birthday or card. So I have 10 different projects saved that have either the word um, birthday or card in the name. And then the real value here is when you scroll down to the Cricut projects, you can see there are over 1500 Cricut projects titled birthday card. And this makes searching super, super easy because you can check out all of the most popular um, birthday card search results when they come up and all of that kind of stuff. But something important to note is that these are all pretty much going to be Cricut Access projects. Um, so I'll show you how to access those here in a moment, um, but I'll also show you what to do if you don't wanna pay for Cricut Access. And of course, the same rule applies. If you wanna see the rest of the Cricut projects, you can click the green view all button. And then last but not least, you'll also see the community projects that other Cricut users have shared that have the phrases birthday or card in them. So that's another cool way to not have to do as much design work, but to be able to make some really unique, really cool looking designs um, that you don't have to do any design work for. And if you decide you wanna go back to the home screen after you are finished um, searching through all the search results, you can click this little back arrow and it'll take you back into the home screen. So now let's start by clicking the big green new project button in the upper right hand corner. And then we're going to search through projects using the projects button on the design panel here along the left hand side. So click on projects. And if you are a person who doesn't want to pay for Cricut access, I completely understand. Um, the way that you would find free Cricut Joy cards to cut out is to go under the categories drop down menu. And you're going to select, uh, let's see, free for Cricut Joy. So that's going to sort and show you all of the free Cricut Joy options that Design Space currently has. But it's also important to note that the free projects for the Cricut Joy and any machine are going to change. So you may want to review these periodically if it's been a little while, um, or something that used to be free may not always be free. So that is something to keep in mind. But once you have the category sorted, you'll want to go up to the search bar here um, with this category still selected. And now we can type in birthday card. And that's going to bring up all of the search results that you can currently use right now for free without Cricut access. So as you can see, there are still some really cute options that you can utilize. And of course, as you get further down, it's probably going to be further and further away from the birthday card. Like here's a congratulations card and things like that. 
So don't forget that you can search this way. But this is just my two cents. Um, my two cents is that if you have a Cricut Joy and you're going to be making cards regularly, I do think it makes sense to pay for Cricut access because all of the pre-made cards do make crafting with the Joy so much easier. Um, I already pay for Cricut access because I use it with all of my machines, but that's just my two cents on it. And the card that I'm going to show you today does come from the paid version of Cricut access. So in order to find it, I'm going to clear out my search bar and then go back up to the categories. And I'm going to search under just cards in general because I want to see what cards are available. And because there are so many different options in the search bar here at the top, I'm going to choose or I'm going to type birthday card again. And I'm going to show you which one I am going to use today. These will look familiar because these are the same projects that we pulled up underneath the universal keyword search. So the universal keyword search bar is just beneficial because you can search multiple places at once. Uh, but of course, you can always come into Design Space and search them individually if you prefer to do it that way. If you guys have been around a while, you know that I love penguins. So this is the uh, penguin birthday card is what I'm going to be doing today. And if you are unfamiliar with ready to make projects from Cricut Design Space, let me show you how amazing these are because I love using these. So to see the details, I'm just going to click on the card or the project itself. It'll come up and show me a photo of the card. Usually you can select or see different pictures. And then it has all this really helpful information. It's kind of like looking at a blog post right here within Cricut Design Space. So it's going to show me things like the difficulty level and how long they estimate it will take me to complete this project. But one really important aspect of choosing stuff on the Cricut Joy is the finish size. I did not realize you had to adjust the size and I was just choosing the biggest one and I was cutting all the way off of my card mat. So make sure you pay attention to the size of the insert cards that you are using. And the insert cards that I have, these are the pre-made cards from Cricut, are going to be the 4.25 by 5.5 size cards. So it's this um, size right in the middle. So that's the size I'm going to choose. And then once I choose that, and even before I chose that, I can scroll down and see all this other cool information about the project. So for example, the materials that I'm going to need for it, everything else that I'm going to need. And another really neat feature is that you can print out these directions because they actually have written directions for cutting and assembling your project. And this one's pretty straightforward. So if you are um, an existing Cricut user, this probably won't be super complex for you. But for some of the more complicated projects, or if you're very new to um, designing with Cricut, then this um, printed version of these projects is going to be so easy. And you don't have to necessarily be looking at your computer, which can be really, really nice if you want to take a screen break while you're crafting. So keep in mind that that print button is always going to be up at the top near the description. So you'll see that sometimes there is a customize button next to the make it button with ready to make projects where you can make changes. In this case, there is not. So the only option to proceed through the project is to click the green make it button. And when we do, we go straight into the prep screen. And most of this is going to be pretty standard, but I want to point a couple things out to you. First of all, you'll notice that whenever there is an operation other than cut, we always do our cutting last. So since we're going to draw with the pen, the pen is going to come first and then we're going to do all of our cutting. Another important thing to note is that I am going to be using the Cricut card mat for this project, which is pretty common with a lot of Cricut cards. Um, at least with the Cricut Joy, but you can change it to using without a mat with smart card stock or on a regular Cricut Joy mat. So once you've double checked that on a card mat is selected, we can click the green continue button and my Joy will connect to my device here. And once it does, then I can choose a base material. Now, under popular, I am going to choose the insert card card stock right here uh, because these are the uh, insert cards that are made by Cricut. So there's pretty much one standard size that you need to use or one standard cut setting, excuse me, to use with these cards. So that's the cut setting that I'm going to choose. And now that I have um, that chosen, it's letting me know that I need to go to my machine and load in my black pen in the one and only tool holder. And then once this cuts, I am going to use the fine point blade in that same tool holder.
Now I am going to stop the screen sharing here so I can go over to the joy and show you how to load everything up. But it is also important to note that the go button is located here in Cricut Design Space. So um, you're not going to find any buttons on the Cricut Joy because all of the actual controls are right here in Design Space. So just keep that in mind that each time you'll have to come back to your computer or your device and press that button. Now let's hop over to my craft table and I'll show you how to load up this card on my Cricut Joy. So once you get over to your Cricut Joy machine, the first thing you need to do is stick the pen in the tool holder. So I'm going to be using my 0.4 fine tip pen for this project. So I'm just going to take the pen and place the cap on the back so that I don't lose it. And then I'll open up the tool holder and remove the blade and then put the pen down in the tool holder and close it. Next up, we need to prepare our Cricut card mat. So for this project, I'm going to be mixing two different packs of insert cards. I'm going to be using the taupe from the Glitz and Glam insert card pack. And then I'm going to be using a sheet of the silver holographic from this black and silver holographic insert card pack for the background. So to prepare your Cricut Joy card mat, the first thing you'll want to do is remove the clear carrier sheet from the front of the mat so that the front side is nice and sticky. Then you're going to take your insert card and you're going to slip the back of it in the slit in the card mat. So you're going to put it behind like this. Then you want to push it up toward the top so that the insert card is actually kind of outlined by this light blue line. And it says 4.25 by 5.5. So we know that we're using the right card size. Then you'll want to fold your card over the front of the card mat and kind of stick it down like this to make sure it's nice and secure and ready for the Cricut Joy. Then when you're ready, you're simply going to push the card mat underneath the white guides and into the Cricut Joy. Then your Cricut Joy is going to measure it. Then you'll want to go back to your computer and press go in order to begin writing on your card. Then once your Cricut Joy is finished writing, you'll want to open up the tool holder and remove the pen and place the cap back on it. Then you'll want to insert the fine point blade back into the tool holder and close it up. Then you'll press go again from Cricut Design Space to begin cutting out your design. Once your joy is finished cutting your design, you'll want to choose unload from Cricut Design Space so you can remove your card mat from your Cricut Joy. Once the card mat has unloaded from the joy, you can remove it and shut the front of your joy. Now it's time to assemble this card. You guys are going to be so impressed with how easy this is. So the first thing we need to do is remove the front of the card from the sticky part of the card mat. So the best way that I found to do this is to flip the card mat over and to use my Cricut spatula to gently peel away the front of the card from the mat like this. And then once the front cover has been removed, you can simply pull out the backside. Once the card has been removed from the mat, you'll simply want to grab your insert. You can use whatever color you want. Of course, you can mix and match the insert card packs like I did. And then we're just going to place the shiny side down so it's facing through the front of the card. And we're gonna place it through the four corners cut into the card like this. You'll also wanna be really gentle, make sure not to rip your paper especially on those thin corner areas. And once the insert is inside the card, your card is finished. Is that not the easiest card you've seriously ever made? 
When cleaning off the Cricut card mat, I really like to use this tool called the Little Red Scraper from 143 Vinyl. And what I really like about it is it's nice hard plastic. So it very easily acts as almost like a plastic razor blade and it really easily gets those scraps of paper off the sticky front of the card mat so that you don't have to peel them off individually and it saves you so much time. Then don't forget to add your cover sheet back over the front of your card mat and your project is complete. If you are a Cricut Joy user, I would love to hear what else you'd like to learn how to make using your Cricut Joy down in the YouTube comments. And if you're not already a part of one of my crafty fams on Facebook, I would love to have you be a part of them. So I'll be sure to link both of my Facebook groups down in the description below. And if you've made it this far in the video, then I would love to get to know you on social media. So please be sure to find me at DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all major social media platforms. I'll also be sure to link all of my profiles down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more just like it, then be sure to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every single time that I put out a new video every single week. But don't wait for next week's video. Be sure to check out this one next. Or if you want to make your DIY dreams come true, be sure to check out this video. I know that you're going to love it.